Welcome back to my channel. I really <laughs> been putting this video for so long. Today we're going to be doing an updated video on my Vinted 101, how Vinted works, how to make money on Vinted, how to sell on Vinted, how to ship on Vinted, how the whole Vinted thing works. Um, the reason I've been putting this off is behind me and that is the massive pile of clothes that I want to list on Vinted and uh, I just feel like I've been putting off doing it for some reason, I don't know why. Um, and this video is gonna basically show you the whole process and it's kind of twofold because if you're new to my channel, I'm Lara and I do loads of budgeting videos, how to save money, how to make money, how to live your best life on a budget. And this video is gonna be a part of a new series which is all about how I make extra income to pay off our mortgage early. So yeah, it's gonna be a whole long series which is obviously gonna take up, take be taken over loads of different months. So the process of listing on Vinted, I'm gonna go through everything from taking the photos, how to do it, and then how to list it, and then how to ship it. I think one of the biggest things people ask me is about shipping, and this is where Vinted really comes into its own. This is not sponsored whatsoever. I've used Vinted for years. The video I did of how to use Vinted is two years old, and it was quite new back then, and things have changed. I will do an updated video on that, but this video I thought would be in practice, listing my clothes. I'm also doing a challenge over on my Instagram account, which is Lara Joanna Jarvis, where myself and my friend Chloe, we are doing a video about how to, who can make the most money in the sort shortest amount of time. So I thought I would create one for YouTube as well, because I know not everybody follows me over there, or maybe you don't have Instagram. But yeah, we're gonna be sharing exactly how to do it in this video, so I really hope it's helpful for you. And feel free to leave your vintage accounts in the comments for people to come and find you. Hopefully it will help you sell your own items and make some extra money and make some extra income let me know what you're saving for at the moment uh, but yeah enjoy the video guys grab a cuppa and let's get into it so shamefully this is my pile of things to sell on vinted i've actually got other stuff in wardrobes that i'm going to be selling as well uh, but I will go through that with you. Um, just things that I no longer love, no longer wear, doesn't any longer fit. Lots of different reasons for selling. And yeah, I'm just going to talk you through exactly how to list them and how to sell them and how to make money on Vinted. Just a caveat, if you do watch my home vlogs, my frugal living vlogs, my day-to-day, -day, everyday life vlogs, you will know that I do donate loads to charity, like bags and bags full. But there are some things that may be worth like might be not designer, but like high end high street or just nice things that for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be sharing how to sell it on Vinted, but I don't think, I don't want you to come away from this and think you shouldn't donate to charity because it's really important to keep our charities going. And I buy loads of clothes. I do loads of thrift for me videos. I buy loads of clothes in the charity shop. So it's sort of like a full circle moment when I give them back to the charity shop. I think it's really good to show how you can make money from your clothes as well. And if you are looking for ways to make money, there are hundreds of videos here on my channel. So whether it's, thrift with me or um, car boot sale videos or side hustle videos or anything like that. There's loads of other money making videos here on this channel. But yeah, hopefully you will find some tips in this video. So I actually have a vintage hanger, which is basically a hanger that I use just sort of like looks quite fancy, looks quite nice. I try to do it on a plain background just so that there's not too much fuss, not too much clutter. You know what it is that you're buying and it's quite a long space as well. So for example, this, which is brand new with tags, uh, I bought this and I haven't actually, it didn't actually fit me and I, by the time I got around to returning it, it was too late because I was away at the time. I think it must've been a short return thing. Uh, so I'm going to take some photos of it and then I'm going to show you how it looks to list it on the website. It's a really nice colour actually, it's like a really nice blue and it's like high note. <laughs> I'm not trying to sell it to you. Uh, so yeah, let's put it up here. In fact, oh no, I can't reach, I can't reach. Right, so we're going to pop it on here and it's a nice long space and I'll be able to get a full length shot of it. It's really important to show if it is brand new, show labels and I also show like I turn it around and show details like this because that's really cute, like little detail there. And then I'll also take a shot of the size. I mean, it says a large, it's definitely not a large. Get some photos and then I'll show you the process of putting it onto Vinted. I thought I'd just show you how intuitive the app is. This is how it 
makes me buy loads from it basically because it will get to know the things that I'm searching for, what I like, what I buy, and then it will show me more of them. So it's got this section at the top which is recommended for you. And if you scroll through, it's basically like all the brands that I've searched for, the things that I like, uh, and that's why I just keep buying stuff on there. I mean, that is a beautiful dress, 25 pounds. And I've done this thing on Instagram before where I've said in a box, tell me what you want me to find and, uh, and what size, and what color, what sh shape or whatever, and I will fit, find it for you. I love doing that for people. These trousers I've been umming and ahhing over for like the Christmas season for ages. They're only nine pounds, but I'm like, mm, do I, do I, do I? So I haven't bought those yet, but they have been in there for ages. I think if, for me personally, if the person, so basically you, you can scroll down and the person's rest of her, like their, wardrobe for sale will be there if there were loads of other things and i might buy a couple of things i would do it but because the postage is likely going to be three pounds two pound fifty on here for these trousers and the trousers are only nine pounds and then you pay a buyer protection fee which is about one pound fifty on something like that which just basically means if anything goes wrong vintage will sort it out for you and i never have problems i know some people have messaged on my old, old video to say that it was almost like I was vintage, like they were shouting at me like, you didn't do this, I'm like, it's nothing to do with me, I'm not even affiliated with them, I just use them as a customer. But yeah, so for £9, £10 with that, then uh, the shipping fee, I mean it's still only £13, £14, but if there were more items I would be much more likely to buy from her because then I would be getting more, it's more value to pay the packaging fee. So yeah, that's a little tip, if you do have things, try and list a few things. Uh, and then you can also put things into favourites, which is nice. So you can have your favourited items. And often what happens is if you favourite something, this is not why I favourite things. I favourite to take time over the purchase and sleep on it and do my 30-day rules and all that sort of stuff. But if you are to favourite it, sometimes the seller will message you to say a, a sort of like deal price or knock a few pounds off, would you buy it for this? Or they might say, just let you know I'm doing a shop run tomorrow, delivery run, let me know if you want it. Just to inst like instigate you buying it basically. Uh, oh, that is so random. My item has just been delivered. This is stunning. I can't justify it though, but I thought that for our next holiday would be stunning. It's brand new from phase eight. Gorgeous, it was. Um, 249 and now it's 65 pounds I think she wants which is a, an amazing price but it's just a lot of money so I won't be buying that but it's gorgeous uh, so yeah that's how favorites work uh, you can also search by brand so that one is uh, next and then I don't really understand newsfeed I think that's sort of just like recommended for you lots of the same items there wardrobe spotlight so yeah there's lots of different ways in which it works but have a scroll around it will get used to as well when you first start it will recommend things that you won't care about uh, but it will get used to you uh, but I think for me I'll talk about the shipment in the middle in the min in a minute once we sell something and then I'll come back to it and ship it up for, sh wrap it up for you and I'll sh talk to you about shipment ah right I'm gonna list this one okay so I've got my photos I've taken my photos I actually took a photo of me wearing it as well which is a really big tip because if you're going to try it on and people can see what it looks like it can really make a difference like I literally sometimes only buy if there's a picture of someone wearing it. So this is what it will look like when you go to list it. So you can put your photos in. Hello over there. Uh, the description. So it's kind of like keyword led. They are really close. Whereby you have to sort of like load it out. So if people are searching like long maxi dress, blue, beautiful fit, great quality flattering comfortable that sort of thing like load it in with keywords that you might search for and the color uh, so in the title I'm going to write uh, what kind of blue is that royal blue blue floor length um, halter neck gown dress I'm gonna put dress just in case people don't search for dress so that's my title but obviously that is just the title people search for and then I've got all of this to play around with now I don't like it when people don't put loads of information in there because I think I want to know is it brand new is it dry clean only is it I don't know like tight fitting is it a uh, true to size like this one is not true to size so I'm gonna go ahead and write in all of that and then I'll come back but I just thought I'd show you here category so we're gonna go also 
hold on, this is really cool. If you were to write dress there, it does the category already for you, so it knows that it's a dress because you've said it's a dress, but I don't know, for some reason it's not saying it. But it's really, like, there's loads of different um, categories you can put on there. And I will put dress, um, long dress, and that's enough, apparently. Um, and then you add in the brand, so whatever the brand is. You just literally click it. So let me go through here and then I'll come back. Okay, so I'm done with my listing. I've got my photo in there, which is the one of me wearing it, which will help people see what it looks like on and what it might look like on them. And then I've just added a few other photos just to show like all the detail. So yeah, that's all done there. Next, and literally I've put in brand new with tags there, which is this acronym BNT. WD <laughs> um, and then a really keyword heavy lead description you don't need to do this at all by the way like if you don't want to do such a thing uh, and then I've listed it it does give some adv advice on like pricing sometimes so it will say what other items with the same description are listed for I put it on for £15 everything is now listed and you can see like on here all the different things that are listed and I'm going to leave this part of the video here now so i'll say bye and then what we're gonna do is see how it goes over the next few days week maybe and then i'll check in and then do an update for you to say whether i've sold anything and whether like how it is or what what's what i'll do next actually is when i next sell when i first sell i will do the shipment thing because that's quite an interesting part of it and it's so easy i feel like this is like i said where it, vintage just comes into its own when it comes to secondhand selling and reselling sites so yes i'll catch you once something sells just sold something else so i'm gonna wrap that up now and take it and yeah that's like five things sold already which is really really good if you are enjoying the video then do think about subscribing to my channel for more frugal living and money saving ideas and just ways in which to live your best life on a budget i'd love to have you here in this community these are the bits that i've listed here unfortunately i bought this on vinted and it is a really odd fit like it doesn't fit very well so i'm selling it uh, it would fit someone with bigger boobs, I think. Uh, but yeah, brand new with tags. So hopefully that one sells because it is a lovely item. Uh, I also bought that and vintage and it didn't fit me either. It was very booby. Uh, but then some of them, as you can see, I'm actually wearing. And I just think that helps them sell. So I've had someone ask me if I'll sell that for 12, which I suggest, but then she's not come back, which is really annoying. Uh, but yeah, so these are sort of like the things that I'm listing at the moment. And the thing that I have sh sold... Uh, oh, it must not it must be. So this is what I've sold. It's a mango dress I bought in the shop and it just didn't fit. It was a little bit too big for me and I'm selling it. So the lady has literally bought it straight away. Here's the description I went with. Not a very long one here, but enough information. And she didn't even try and barter with me or anything. She just bought it. So that is what I'm going to ship out now. And also this item as well, which I thought looked really pretty there, although you can see all my <laughs> plugs that need to be done. Uh, but yeah, that one has also sold. So I'm going to be shipping those now and then I will tell you how easy the shipment part is. I'm just packing for a trip that is coming up. So you will see all of this mess in the background, but excuse all that. So yes, what I've got here is, and I've got a list on my in the description of all the things that I use when I'm shipping with Vinted, so that will be there if you need it. These are really good, they're really big actually, and I've listed a small set as well, but these just make sure it doesn't get too crumpled up and it's always got sort of enough space. So I have one of these shipping bags, and often I will reuse ones as well, so if I get sent anything, I will turn it inside out and I will use that. And then I tend to wrap them in a bit of tissue, absolutely not necessary, but I just think it looks nicer. So I use some tissue, whatever I've got sort of in the cupboard. And then a little note just to say thank you for ordering with me. And then my sellotape dispenser, which is really handy. Good for wrapping prezzies as well. Um, yeah, so let's get that all posted out.
laptop, I don't need to write the label on because it all goes through Vinted. So when the buyer, let me change position. What I'm gonna do before I do that is, I'm just gonna write on here, because I'm shipping two things, I don't wanna get confused which one's which. I'm gonna write on here a G, a green dress, so I know that. And then the other one will be a B. Um, but yeah, literally as simple as that. And like I said, you could just shove it in any old bag and not worry too much, but I just like to give that like kind little gesture. So I've got my tripod there because I'm filming this reel that you will be seeing soon. So say I want to buy something, I literally click buy now. I'm going to try and do it so you can see both me and the screen. So I'm going to show you down here actually, it'll be easier. So when you buy something, you have the option to ship to a pickup point or ship to home. Slightly more expensive to ship to home and you can just literally choose either one of those and it will tell you the exact price and it's as simple as that you don't need to work out what anything is how much it should be what what and this is for the seller as well the seller does nothing it actually calculates now if it knows it's a dress or if it's a coat it's going to tell you which how much it's going to cost and you'll literally not have to do anything for it so you the seller sorry the buyer me all i need to choose is whether i want it to ship to pick up point or if i want it to ship to home and then it will calculate calculate the price for me um this person's done it to home so i will get the label when i get to the yodel store and literally just put it on there and then they ship it off and it's all done for you it's so so easy but yeah super simple when you are shipping when you're actually the seller because you don't need to worry about working out what the price is how much it should be what the weight is it literally just does it for you and then as a buyer you had two choices whether to ship it to home or to a pickup point i've actually done pickup point this week because i've got a few things that i've ordered for our trip that we're going on which i'll update you on in my next car chats life update video if you want to know a bit more about that but i've done quite a few orders on vinted for that so i'm going to ship them all to one place rather than have to wait in for them or pay more to get them shipping to the house uh but yeah anyway i'm going to take this now to the post office and send it off one other thing i want to show you so as i said we are going away so there is a mode on here that you can do for putting your vintage on this which is called holiday mode and this just basically means if you're going to be away it's a really good thing to do because you don't want people waiting too long and then you'll get bad feedback so just i will put it on holiday mode but then when i come back i'll do an update on this and show you how we've got on what we've sold how much we've made and everything else so yeah i will check back in soon no word of a lie i have to show you this because i'm still as you can see only just about to wrap the next items. I've literally just finished. And a vintage parcel has arrived and I wanna show you how it has come because you don't have to do what I do. <laughs> it's literally arrived in an Aldi bag, which is the front, but um, yeah, let's unwrap it together, shall we? What fortuitous timing. I'm gonna put you there. Oh, oh sitting on things. Try to put it out of the way. I don't know what it is because as I said, I have ordered a few things. For the boys mm, that'll be all right um this is so funny it's literally you don't have to spend loads at all <gasps> so pleased i'm so pleased it says it smells like strawberries okay so where we're going and all will be revealed we have a night which is called celebration night it's like black tie and for the children, they don't own suits. I don't wanna buy them suits for one day. These suits are so expensive. It's actually probably only a few hours because it's an evening event. Uh, and this would be the case if they were going to a wedding or anything like that as well. Oh, but hurry, my battery's about to run out. So I bought them from Vinted and this is actually Henry's because I've already bought Georges from Vinted. These are next ones. Look how cute they are. So I have just bought a, a shirt as well to go with this and the trousers. I didn't go with a full suit because I just thought they're gonna be so uncomfortable in a jacket and I think a little waistcoat's cute. So yeah, these I saw in Next yesterday because we were looking for a bow tie to go with it because this one didn't come with a bow tie whereas George's did. And I think it was like 40 pounds or 28 pounds for the trousers, maybe 22 pounds for the waistcoat. And this whole thing cost me 15 pounds. So yeah, saves you so much money. I'm really pleased that's arrived because that was the one thing that we definitely needed to have to go with uh, the rest of us. And I'm gonna be wearing, oh, I'll show you actually. In fact, you might have to watch the vlogs because Sue's going in a blue tux, uh, a dark blue tux, and I am going in blue as well. So we're all gonna be matching, matchy matchy. 
and yeah for me I just I just I would never want to spend probably the best part of 120 pounds on a suit for a few hours it makes no sense to me and I'll probably list these back on vintage once they've worn them because if we haven't got any weddings or events like that to go to and they won't fit them next time and actually what I did with this this is a sort of tip for vintage I knew that there would be loads of people going to weddings and then they would start listing their things after the wedding and I've been holding out I mean, holding out on Vinted because there were some on there for like 60, 70 pounds. And I just thought that's still so much money, even though it's probably half the price. But I knew that people would just put them on there. So I've waited. I had my search parameters on there. Let me show you actually if my camera stays with us. Uh, my search parameters, which you can actually save. So in here, you can, you can look for things individually. But I have got, if it's going to let me, yeah, I've got these sort of saved ones. So here we go. Boys clothes, can you see that? Excuse my nails. Boys clothing, uh, formal wear and suits. And then up here it's saved the, like, the size that we want. So I wanted Henry only 11 years. And yeah, so then I can just literally refresh it. And I also do sort by, <laughs> sort by newest first. So that when I go on there, I know that it's the latest things. And yeah, as you can see, there's absolutely loads of them that are being listed. And yeah, good prices. So yeah, this, there was there was that style. I just put in next. I knew what I was looking for. And yeah, so I saved myself an absolute fortune there. I just wouldn't shop. I just, for this sort of stuff, for one wear, it's a no from me. <laughs> Although these are beautiful. And, you know, if you can't find them, then yeah, they are a lovely fitting as well. But anyway, yes, yeah, so that's that. I'm gonna finish off uh, wrapping up the brown one that I was, I've sold. Excuse all that washing. Not washing, it's all my packing. It's just everywhere. Um, but yeah, another thing ticked off the list. Got my two parcels here listed, um, written on so I know what they are. And I'm gonna go and send these off. It's pouring with rain. So I thought I'd update you. It's the next day. Oh, that was loud. And I've just sold another item. Uh, first, so I put it on for 20, and then the lady messaged me to offer me 15. Let me check, there's no details on that. I don't think so, of her name or anything. Um, so the lady offered me 15, and I rejected it, and she said, how much would you like to go to? And I said, 18, please, because I'd only just listed it. So obviously, if it had been on there a few months, and I would have just taken that, because I know that um, it's been on there ages, whereas if it's only just been listed, I'm gonna just hold out to get the better price. Uh, but she accepted that and I thought that was fair enough. It's beautiful, it's got the tags on it. Stuart's packing is right there, mine's back there. Uh, so yeah, it's a stunning item. So I'm gonna wrap that one up now. This one also sold, which I bought on Vinted, but it's just too booby here for me. And the collar was a bit odd, so this is also sold. How much did I make for that? So that was 18 pounds for that one. I did for 18 and she offered me 15 and I accepted it. So that one is also gonna go out. So I'm gonna go and post these now. So what did I just say? Eight, was that 18 and 15? <laughs> my brain, 18 and 15. Eight, nine, 33, is that right? <laughs> Why is my math so bad? Yeah, of course it is, yeah. Is that right? Oh my gosh, you guys are probably shouting at the screen. So yeah, I, annoyingly, I got some things delivered which I've bought from Vinted for our holiday and they've gone to the shop and it's shut. So I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow to get that. So I'm gonna package these up. And um, yeah, another 33 pounds, thank you very much. And stuff that I am not gonna wear. So these are really nice items. I do think that this, the uh quality of the things on vintage has really gone up recently and there's lots of really beautiful things on there so yeah as much as i'm not selling for very much i'm also if i want to buy it's not that expensive either so i feel like this video could go on and on and on but i also don't want to like overload you with information so hopefully it's been really helpful if you're looking to start out on vintage and you wanted just to know the absolute basics of how to sell on vintage how to ship things on vintage how the shipment charges work and how to list things, best practices, stuff like that. So I really hope it has been helpful, but if there's any questions you have at all about it, then do just let me know in the comments and feel free to share your handles in the comments so people can find you and you can hopefully sell some bits. 
Um, and yeah, I think I made in the end about a hundred pounds in a week. So it just goes to show like if I can pull my finger out and actually be bothered to list things because I don't know why I just don't often do it. I think cause I do give a lot to charity or I just think, oh, I, I can't get around to doing that. Um, yeah, but it does go to show you can make, you know, really good money from selling things that you no longer love and passing them on to someone that will love it like, you know, new so yes um i love shopping on vinted as well because i always get so many good bargains and yeah like individual pieces that maybe are a little bit older so not in the shops so if you're going to an event you know no one's going to be wearing it because it's not new in the shops if that makes sense um uh, but yeah anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll be back really soon i've got a video where i go to costco again coming up um and i think i should probably do a frugal home vlog again because i haven't done a frugal vlog for ages or a home vlog um but yeah thanks for being here guys hope it was helpful and i will see you all so soon take care bye